Hi guys, Boo in a second. Just finishing off watching my uh, my video uh, premiere on the other screen. Review in two seconds, just uh, shutting down my other things that are going on. Right, I think we are nearly there. Um, do myself twice, let's sort that out. <clears throat> right, where's the other one playing? That's got one thing playing. Right, there we go, and we've got some music in my ear, and then we can do this. Oh, that's a bit loud. Um, turn it on. Yeah, hi guys, I hope you're all well. Uh, let's just click a few buttons. I say I've got three screens and I had kind of things all over the place. Uh, you can hear I'm waffling in the background. I'm always waffling. Uh, box for Fox, it's 6 a.m. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, I'll buck up at 6 this morning. It's quite bizarre. Um, my alarm was set for 7, but yeah, woke up at 6. Usual thing, woke up, well, I was just get up and do bits and pieces. Right. Uh, Mana, hello. How are you? Uh, Andrew's here. Good. Yeah, hopefully you guys saw my um, my little video that just put on with my little, uh, my little orc. So I'm really pleased with how he came out. And the thing that I love the most, I did this dude in one day. Uh, let's put this other light on. Yeah, this guy, I did him on Saturday. Uh, let's focus him. Yeah, so from printing this dude out, painting him, and pouring resin all in one day. Um, so I did that Saturday. And then yesterday, yeah, yesterday Sunday, uh, just tidied up the back a little bit. And... Yeah, it's like putting a video together. So yeah, really pleased to say that, I can't say it enough. This paint, painting technique for me is just a complete game changer. It really is. It's, it's like, obviously I'm loving painting and just the speed, the speed of it. And again, when I look at these things that I'm now painting, I don't, I still can't believe that, that I paint them. Um, mainly because obviously how I used to paint things was very basic to say the least. And it was still at pants. Whereas I just love these. I love the sort of the contrast in them, the different shades of like whatever colour I've used, um, and yeah, and I think the speed is just amazing. is is great. So yeah, really pleased how this came out. So it's just a shame though that the base wasn't very big because I would have liked to have hidden the uh, the battery pack um, obviously inside it. But still pleased how he looks and how he came out. So we'll put him back over there. Uh, Red Fox, hello. Voltron, 3 a.m. in the USA. Oh wow, that's uh, that's kind of early. Um, Andrew, good day from Australia. Patrick, I've oh, actually seen Australia. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good to have you guys here. Right, so yeah, again, <laughs> this painting technique changed how I, I've wanted to do things. I've been wanting to make a Warhammer chess set for a while, but obviously, I mean, in the video, if you just saw the video, I mentioned about having to paint 16 figures. Obviously, it's 32 figures because 16 either side, and that's always put me off making a um, making a, a Warhammer chess set purely from the fact of having to paint so many miniatures. And I say I would spend at least three four hours on a miniature, and it'd be absolute pants. Um, whereas now I can spend sort of 20 minutes, half hour on a miniature, and it come out looking great. I've enjoyed the experience. I love how they look. Um, yeah, so that's why I am now making a Warhammer chess set. Obviously, it's going to be Orcs against um, Space Marines. So for the Orcs, I've got all these, the boys. So these are going to be, obviously, the, the pawns at the front. So I've started building the... Um, oh, let's get this out a little bit. Started building the chess set. There's a few bits here and there. Um, I, will be, I will be posting pictures of this as I get more bits done on Patreon. Um, so the board size, 
Let's see if I can get that a bit more in. So up to the board is going to be eight squares by eight. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's handy. So it's going to be eight by eight. Um, obviously, lots of it can be 3D printed. Um, I'm going to make kind of like a box for the chess set because I want it to have like drawers either side that you open and the figures sit in the drawers. So it's all going to be compact. Um, so this is what the figures are going to be on. Um, oh, I haven't got any. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I've got no figures. But obviously the bases are going to be, I think, 48 millimeter bases. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to use just clear bases and the figures on them, or if I'm going to have like um, sort of pedestal sort of bases. I'm not too sure. But one thing I do know is that when I make this board out, underneath this, the reason why I've got it on like grills is I'm going to have lights underneath. So when you flick a switch, it's going to light up the board from underneath which should look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so obviously, orcs I'm doing first. So these are gonna be the pawns, and say so these are just your general um, orc boys. Um, love how they look. And these were actually sent to me, um, I've got the box. Oh, I can't reach the box. But these were sent to me by um, Firestorm um, Gaming Shop. So when I do the video, there'll be a link to their, to their website. Um, I have the supply to be an affiliate with them. So hopefully that will come through um, and then I can obviously put that in the, uh, the links for the video. Um, but yeah, so they, they sent me a big Orc, I think it's the Orc Patrol box. Um, about 32 odd figures. So obviously I had all of these boys, well there's twice as much as there is here, but obviously I only need eight figures. And the great thing is they're all separate individual looking figures, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Firestorm Gaming sent me a big box, Orc Patrol, loads of figures. Um, so these are going to be the, the pawns. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you. The, obviously, so I'm doing each figure is going to have obviously be represented by something else. So obviously, like a king and a queen. Um, what's this guy called? So this guy is this is old Zogrod. That's the thing I love about the orcs as well. They have some great names. So Zogrod Wartsnagger. Um, I'll tell you what, wait. But I, I've made a few adjustments to this chap. Because obviously the other thing I, I kind of had a look at, and that is that orcs, they're all male. Because apparently they have some sort of special way of breeding. But obviously because they're all male, that's fine, I don't mind them all being male. But obviously I wanted to have a queen um, in the orc side. So I wanted a queen, but I wanted a queen to kind of look like a queen. So <laughs> this is how the chap should look. I mean, he always looks like that. Um, except I've taken the beard off and I've cut some boobies off of a different model um, and I've attached them to him. That's why the boobies are painted because um, I've literally cut them off a different model. Um, but they've got like little metal um, well, nipple shields, I guess. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I took his beard off. His beard, I used the beard for more hair at the back. Um, but yeah, so this is going to represent the queen in my chess set. Um, I'm going to 3D print off a little crown. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm hoping the Warhammer community doesn't hate me for this, but I have turned Zodgod Waltznagger into a female version, or just a chap with um, with moobs. But either way, um, <laughs> it makes me chuckle, and I, I like I like doing things that make me smile. And and this chap lady, whatever toaster, whatever you want to call her, him, um, yeah, it's going to make me chuckle when I see it on the board. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough of that, so have a quick drink and then we're going to get into uh, a bit of painting. Um, right. Yeah, again guys, when I'm painting, I kind of concentrate a lot on painting and I don't always look at the screen. Um, to see obviously comments. If you're asking me a comment, if you can put at miniature hobbyist in the comment, just because it highlights it on my screen in orange um, or yellow, but basically it just highlights it. So I know you're asking me a question as opposed to just having general um, chit chat. Um, yeah, I could have taken yeah I could have taken some rockets and cut the tips off, and um, yeah put rockets on the chest. 
So usual thing, whenever I'm sort of batch painting, um, I paint one, one figure fully, just so I'm happy with the paint scheme, the colors, and everything else. Um, to be honest though, this is kind of how I've been painting my orcs for the last couple of weeks, just because I, I, I love it. So the green on him is the contrast Plague Bearer's green, or Plague Bearer's flesh, but I hardly had any left. I'd run out almost. So, I had a cunning plan. <laughs> so inside this, there was a smidgen left of the Plague Bearer's flesh. I've added some speed paint medium, um, but then I also put in quite a lot of this, the uh, dipping inks from Green Stuff World, the Radiant Orange, because I love how this comes out on their shirts. So I put quite a bit of that in with the green. Um, it hasn't changed it too much, it's still a green green. Um, but yeah, just because I say, I, I'd, I'd almost run out and I wasn't sure if there's gonna be enough left to even paint these, these eight orcs. So that's why I've kind of filled it with a bit of speed paint medium, kind of thins it out a bit more. And then I've chucked in some of this radiant orange. <laughs> just to see how that would look. So again, that's why I did one, just to make sure that I hadn't messed up the green <laughs> and didn't like it. Um, but yeah, so this, this is the sort of color scheme I'm going for, which say is pretty much the same sort of color scheme as my Orc kill team, the old Orc commandos. Um, and yeah, I, I just love it. So yeah, painted one, I'm gonna paint the rest. Usual thing though, I am videoing. Um, so I will be sort of moving the, the screen around that you're looking at a few times just to sort of vary the angle. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. Say, because I've got these, these eight to paint. Um, and then I've got obviously the queen to paint. I've got the king, the king I'm gonna paint. He's the orc war boss that came with the set that Firestorm sent me. Um, so yeah, so cheers again to Firestorm. Uh, there's a link in the description, guys. If you wanna click on that, you can go and obviously have a look at their, their store. Um, but I should be getting an affiliate link soon. So basically it doesn't cost you anything different, but every time you buy something, um, I get a few pennies, which obviously all mount up, hopefully, um, to me being able to buy more stuff. So I have I have gone through, drilled out all the barrels, made sure I drilled the barrels out. So I know I know how some people can get a bit upset if you don't drill barrel barrels out. <clears throat> Although my thinking is, well then why doesn't Warhammer just make them come with pre-drilled holes? Or well, not pre-drilled, but just holes. Anyway, waffling on. Um, box full, do this. Oh yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, do what he's, he said. Because again, yeah, because it comes out, yeah, orange, which is cool, because it's my favorite color. Right, so again, I'm filming. So all I've filmed so far is me dry brushing them. So I painted him without filming it, just because I wanted to make sure I like the colors. Because if I didn't like the colors, then I could literally just put him in a, um, a little jug of, um, oh, what's it called, IPA. Um, and obviously it'll get the paint off and then I can redo him. So that's why I always, do. so whenever I do these, like a batch of 10 or whatever, or a batch of anything, do one first, just so you're happy with it. Um, and then yeah, crack on and do the rest. Uh, no, well what, what Box Fox has done, um, has come up as orange in my screen. Although so is what Andrew's done, has come up in orange. Basically, if you put my name in it um, and it comes up orange, then all well and good. Anyway, waffle, 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 and more waffle. Right, so yeah, what I'm going to do is. Right, let's have them there. So I'm going to do a little bit of video in. Oh, when the camera stops shaking. I might say is I've done the old dry brushing before I paint them. I've painted one just to check I like how he looks. And I certainly do how you like do like how he looks. And then we're gonna start with a bit of this. Yes again, I say I know this slap chop thing it gets mixed reviews and people don't like the name or do like the name, but whatever you want to call it. There was no way in the past I could paint something that looked like this, as in having some like nice dark recess areas 
or just being like dark in areas that well should be dark um, and even like the skin there's like subtle variations in the green from it being like a light green to a very dark green in the recesses and a little bit of a different green in the medium areas um, and so you hit the orange on his, his shirt again things like that I, I could never do um, by painting normally and so that's why it took me forever to sort of do any kind of painting and hate it Yeah, see, Razzle Dazzle, I was going to try and do Razzle Dazzle, as in try and make it take off. Well, not take off, but be used. But the other problem is, good old YouTube and its algorithms, analytics, all the rest of it, it certain words it likes, certain words it just doesn't care for. Um, and even with like people who are subscribed, it's really weird. If I put Warhammer, Sprues, or Slapchop in the title somewhere, it gets pushed out to obviously more people. But it also gets more of my subscribers get notified. But when I don't put them, them sort of things in the title, even my subscribers don't get notified of a video. And that's why it's just, it's just so weird and annoying sometimes that I have to put words in the title. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise no one sees them, which is so quite annoying. Because I want to just use like normal words. But um, hey ho, YouTube, analytics, algorithms, all of that. Bit bizarre sometimes. Right, so let's get the camera somewhere where obviously you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I know sometimes when I paint, say painting can be difficult to, to video sometimes, especially obviously when I wear glasses because I need to have the figure quite near me. But then my hands can get in the way of the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I have to vary the angle sometimes. Right, so say so he's fine. So batch painting, simply a case of. I've got me green for the orc skin. I'm going to go through, paint all the orc skins, and then go on to the next colour, and then the next colour, and the next colour. Right, so let's have a little look. That's where I'm going to be holding it, I think. Yeah, that's a good place to hold it. Change that contrast there, but it's a bit bright. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. Uh, Mike, you would have chosen few who know of the great Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, again, Razzle Dazzle, it makes me laugh. It's, it's a, I like fun words. Um, and quite often when I'm talking to friends and that, I'll say certain words just because I find them funny. Rather than saying a normal word, I'll say a, the funny equivalent of whatever that word is. Uh, and that's what I like when some of you guys come up and I see some fun, really weird and wacky fun names. Just, just reading them make me smile and it's just like, simple things in life make me happy. And funny words are definitely one of those simple things. All right, let's get this everything in position because say so once I'm in paint one, I'm then just gonna paint all of them really, which, um, should be cool. So yeah, you can see it well, I can see it well. All right, eyes down, full out, crack on. Let's record. So, so I have put some more of that medium in. The paint is probably a little bit more watery um, or translucent than it was before. So I think with my first one, I think there's a few areas where I did actually put a second coat. Ah, just realised I've not got my glasses on that I use for painting, which is probably why I am straining a little bit. Again, say it every time, I need to get new glasses, um, but I just haven't yet. Because I've got these general glasses that I've got on, and then I've got the uh, the much thicker but cheaper glasses that I wear for painting, just because they make things a lot easier to to see close range. Right, well, that'll do for the painting for a bit. Because I say I need to change glasses. Because ah, oh, there we go. 
that is much better. I can see the figure so much clearer now. Um, yeah, yep, stop the uh, recording so I can just paint as normal. Fingerless gloves. Yes, guys, I hope you're all well. Um, I say, I hope you saw the, the video that I put on earlier. Um, if you didn't, tut tut. Obviously, there's still time to go and watch it. Um, Steve, you used to have a CB radio, you met a girl called Bingo Balls, she made you laugh. <laughs> trying to be cryptic. Um, well, even just bingo balls sounds fun. Yeah, so I say that this sort of way of painting just really couldn't be any easier if it tried. Well, the only thing you do need to be careful of though is obviously using the contrast speed paints like this you can't put it on areas where it shouldn't go because um, then obviously when you put the, the colour on there that should go there you can still see this colour underneath. Right, well I think that's all I can see on him. Right, next chap. Going sleeveless, showing his, uh, his muscles off nicely. Yeah, so at the moment, say I'm, I'm kind of working on making sure I get all the uh, the orc sort of figures first, and thinking about what their equivalents are. Um, as in regards to say these these are going to be the pawns. Um, I've got the king and the queen sorted. I know what figures I want to use for the um, like the, the bishop and the knight and all that. Um, I haven't got them yet, but I know which ones I want to use. So, but I haven't even started thinking about the um, space marines yet. As in what sort of their equivalent would look like. Uh, and you like the Durham. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with it. More so because of the way the... Um, um, yeah, the, the way that the resin actually came out. So I haven't done a lot with resin, but a few times I have used it. It's, it's never really come out properly. Or never come out how I wanted it. I mean, it's not a lot of resin was used in that, but um, I'm still pleased that it actually came out well. Because I haven't made any kind of dioramas for a while. I mean, because I'm obviously really enjoying painting figures, it's like, I want to paint figures, I want to paint figures. Um, but yeah, so it's only a small little diorama, but it was still fun to make. Um, the top flap flapping, is that your name? Uh, Space Marines sound, Space Marines scouts or assault intercessors for the pawns. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, similar to obviously the Orc boys, the Orc boys are the, the basic sort of grunt of the, the Orc army. So, yeah, I'd want something sort of fairly simple and plain for the Space Marines. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, because I haven't really, so I haven't really looked much into Space Marines. Um, yeah, don't really know much about them, what they are. But uh, I do like the look of them though, again, because I think they're nice and big and chunky. So yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing for these, as I said sort of briefly, um, at the moment I am just going to put these on clear bases. So the, the pawns are going to be on 32mm bases, and the ones at the back are going to be on the 48mm. Um, 
So instantly you can tell which ones are pawns because they're on a smaller base. And the, the bigger bases, the ones I've ordered, are four millimeters deep or thick or whatever you call high. Um, and these bases, these guys are on a two millimeter. So instantly the bases are going to be wider and deeper. So you can tell the main ones from the, the pawns. Um, plus I say, I'm going to make them look how they, they kind of should look. That's why I say the king and the queen are going to wear crowns. I mean, albeit small crowns, but enough that you can tell that they are the king and queen. Um, and yeah, the bishops might wear sort of pope hats. Um, not too sure yet. I kind of like to think on them one at a time as I'm, I'm doing them. So that's why I'm just sort of concentrating on the pawns, really. But yeah, so Firestorm sent me the, um, I'm sure it's like the Orc Patrol pack. Um, comes with lots of figures. There's some Death Copters in there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, won't be using them in this, but the chances are the Death Copters I will do... Um, well, another little sort of diorama. I might do one like a crashed one. Um, could be quite cool. Um, comes with obviously the, the war boss. So he's going to be the king in the chess set. And it also comes with... Uh, what's it called? It's basically like a big uh, big dustbin. <laughs> but a dustbin with lots of weapons. I can't think what it was called, uh, called even. Uh, Andrew used uh, the captain for the king, librarian queen. At chaplains, bishops. Oh, okay. Assault marines for knights and termies for rooks. Ah, cool. And who's that? Uh, tack marines for pawns. Yeah, so I need to have a good old, um, a good old look. Um, but say because so many of these came with the um, the orc patrol box, I might have a look at the space marine patrol box because that'll probably have a good sort of eight figures. Well, hopefully, it'll be the same sort of set as this. They'll have like eight good figures that I can use for pawns. They'll have another figure that I can use for maybe the king. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to looking into what they, they do. Um, War boss, mech, doc, bishops. Yeah, so I'm thinking about the uh, the knights as being these dudes, but on the squigs. Um, I don't know if you can get these guys on little squigs. I know you can get these on the, the big, big things. But I want them to be on like little ones. If not, I might just have to a bit of kit bashing. Obviously, you do enjoy a bit of kit bashing. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to having. So, cause I, I don't really play chess a lot, but I do do like chess. Uh, my son can play chess, so again, we could play this game together. Um, and yes, yeah, again, because I want to make it into like a proper sort of box that you can carry around, and it'll have all the figures inside it. So I think that'd be quite nice. That it's all sort of compact as well as obviously looking good if you just let it on the table um all out and the figures all out and so having lights underneath as well it's gonna be quite uh, quite cool do you have gloves on uh nope don't think so let's say i do love this green though for orcs but yeah, I was concerned I might have to go like and buy another um, pot of it. Um, just like this one, there really was there wasn't much left at all. But uh, yeah, mixing a bit of medium and a bit of another paint in there, albeit a completely different colour paint, has given it uh, a lease of life and there's definitely enough there to do these guys, which is cool. Well, I, I do still want to do some blue orcs though, just to. Just have a bit of fun. Maybe when I do the um, the, the death copter, do like a little uh, little crash diorama. Maybe I could make that as a blue uh, blue orc. And that's why he's crashed. He was shot down by his fellow orcs. Um, Liam, I've uh, been thinking about getting back into painting minis for a while and after finishing finding your channel, I've bought a box of Aeos Oryx. Is that head knights and paints? 
Yeah, I say, honestly, again, people who have been with my channel a long time, apologies, I do keep going on and saying the same things. Um, but yeah, I, I can't say it enough that I used to hate painting figures. <laughs> absolutely hated it. Um, but now I, I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm just trying to get more and more figures. Just because, yeah, I, I love how they look. They just come out so well. And I say, it's, it's such a simple technique. Honestly, this, and the speed, it really doesn't take long at all to get figures painted. Um, and definitely to a standard that I could never, never achieve before. But I would spend hours trying to. And again, I think that's what really put me off painting. Was the fact that I spent so long and it came out looking pants. Simple as that. He's uh, he's greened up. And so even before it starts to dry, you can just see it being darker in the recesses, which I just love. Um, and yeah, it's just just love it. Absolutely love it, guys. If you haven't already, if you can give this um, a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, and if you haven't seen, I, I had put a video on uh, literally about half hour ago. If you haven't seen that, by all means, please go and see that. Um, again, hit the thumbs up button and leave some comments is always nice. Um, so it really does help me and my channel out so much from just you sort of um, thumbs up, leave a comment. So nice and simple, we haven't got to do too much, but it makes a big difference to me. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting the um, them Geller, Geller Pox, is that what they're called? Um, getting them, well, sometime this week. Uh, just because I will say I'll be kit bashing them um, into a kill team. But say so I'm going to make them into a, a killer clown kill team. Um, just because I think it's going to be fun. Plus, we all like killer clowns. Shape, just some more of the paint goes in the uh, the top little section. Uh, you hate pa building the miniatures. Ah, see, I, I like yeah, I like building the miniatures actually. Although these ones, obviously, the way these ones come, you can't really do much with them, as in kit bashing, because this obviously must be one of the older sets. So each of these figures came in about three or four bits that could only fit together with the other bits that came with that figure. Um, whereas I prefer the newer like ones where the arms are completely separate to the uh, top body and the bottom body. So you have more sort of control of how you, or how they stand, how they look. Uh, whereas yeah, these guys were all, they came as is. Which isn't too bad, say, because for the, um, the pawns, it's nice that they are all individual, all have a different stance, doing something different, different sort of weapons, kind of. Um, and yeah, I, I, I do like the look of all of these, really. So it's just handy that in that box that I got uh, was eight different looking ones, which is pretty cool. Well, a bit guys, I saw a little bit of the um, the new sort of kill team box that's coming out, 
um, the old Into the Dark one. But the terrain is exactly the same as the previous box. Um, I was hoping it'd be, well, just different. Probably still going to buy it, like, but it's a shame it's the same looking thing. So usual thing, not sure how long this stream is going to last. Um, one hour, two hours, three hours. But I'm definitely feeling better than I was. Um, I had a bit of a cold last week. So I think I pretty much had it for about a week. And it seems to have pretty much gone. There's a little bit every now and then where I might sort of have a little sneeze or cough. Um, but yeah, nothing like it was last week. Right, yeah. Love it. Little army of orcs. Oh, he's got most of his muscles out, which is good. So there'll be loads of green on this dude. So the other thing I like about the Orcs is you haven't really got to paint eyes, just do a little uh, little dob of red. Because <laughs> I, I, as much as I love painting, I still don't like doing eyes. I, I make eyes, they, they look like they're cross-eyed, or you just get one eye just bigger than the other. And obviously not by much, but enough at this size that it just looks, well, weird. But yeah, a little red dot in the middle, I can handle that. So usual sort of question, what are you guys all up to? Um, I know prior to this, some of you guys were saying you're going to be doing some painting yourself, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, what's, uh, what's everyone up to? Just be nice to know what you guys are doing. some get paint orcs really blimey is he doing a good job haven't got the breath are you still a bit um well breathless or is it watching me that's making you breathless mate i do have that effect on people um, so 
Sir Patrick, nice to have you around. Feels like you're on the other side of the desk. Always nice to have some company while painting. Makes the hobby, hobby so much fun. Yeah, I watched a few YouTubers that have sort of like got together and just, yeah, done a bit of kit bashing and sort of painting together. It looks, um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, painting together. Um, the top, top flapping is building Novi shit. Yeah, I still can't say Novi shits. <laughs> Novi shits. Novi. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I've, I've got them on order as well. Um, they look pretty cool. Uh, Patrick is painting twenty Deadwalker zombies. Oh, cool! I like zombies. Uh, for your AOS uh, Soul Bright Globe Lords. Ah, uh, cool. I don't, I don't even know what the AOS um, game is. As in, I know what it stands for. I don't know what the game is. Um, I need to, well, I would say I need to look into other Warhammer games and stuff, or other games in general, but I, I better not because I do kind of like rush in and get a bit a bit hooked on things. So I think I'll just stick with the kill team for the moment. Um, is that Creety? Again, I don't know how to really say your name. Creety? 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 Apologies. Uh, working. Oh, bless. After work, uh, painting the wings on the Galahox. Uh, you need to make some mud textures for them as well, top of bases. Cool, yeah, I'm still gonna, all my kill team, any figures that I use, oh, pardon me, I'm still gonna go, go clear bases. So I like making, so the base for dioramas, I love doing that, but yeah, any figure that I use, I, yeah, clear bases for me. Uh, Adam is painting the Thunderstrike Brotherhood box, going well so far, cool. Uh, Andre, you must be, I would say, yeah, it's gotta be me, mate. You're watching, you're watching too much of me, it's just taking your breath away. Um, Age of Sigma. Yes, I knew it was Age of Sigma. I just, I just don't know what the game, the gameplay is like. Say, I, I didn't. It's like Necromunda. I like the look of the figures in Necromunda. I like the style of the whole thing in Necromunda. Um, but I didn't look at the game in case I think, oh, I like the look of this, and then get hooked and then just go mad. Um, yeah. So I need to try and not go mad because I've come gone mad with uh, the kill team. Um, so yeah, seven weeks, seven kill teams, into the dark box set, painted and all the rest of it. It's like, and I've got a few more kill teams turning up soon, which is nuts. Uh, how would I suggest on making cheap liquid looking mud? Ooh. Um, yeah, don't know, a liquid. Yeah, the resin is, is, a, is a good one. Plus say, doing the resin um, and then using like a brown speed paint to paint over it. Just because say, the, the speed paints just go on so well onto clear things, and because they're obviously translucent, you can still see through. So yeah, it's alright. Yeah, UV resin. It's something I would try, and then just using the um, the brown brown speed paint over the top, um, just to make it look obviously muddy. Um, yeah. Box Fox made some made some eggs, and the house is still standing. Okay, good for you. I don't know if I've missed something there. <laughs> uh, Patrick, one kill team a week. Um, yeah, although it might have been in a few cases, I might have done a couple of kill teams. Again, doing the kill teams like I've, I've done these. I say I've, the kill teams I've done three hours, four hours tops to do like a ten-man kill team. Um, I say in the past I would spend or would have spent three, four hours on one figure, and it looked. Um, let's say I've ordered some note. Um, yes, kind of. I've been cheeky recently and I've been approaching uh, game stores, companies, um, and politely asking if they'd like to send me a box of stuff. I will happily assemble, paint it, and obviously leave links to all their stuff. Um, so, yeah. Let's do a bit more green. So these are going, these are going well. Oh, he's another guy. Oh, he's completely shirtless. This dude, he's full on. Uh, check me out. Well, he's got quite a lot of scars. I'm gonna need to do uh, a bit of a different colour on some of these scars. Had a bit of pink or something. And he's got a patch. Oh, there's a big old patch. Let's get that off. Got an eye patch and a bit of I don't know metal half mask almost. Obviously lost part of his face. Uh, 
again, it's just so easy. You just chuck the paint on because of the uh, black prime and dry brushing. It's got all the uh, darks and shading and all the rest of it. And it's yeah, just too easy almost, this painting technique. But I do love it because of that. My own little team of hulks. You don't remember two days ago. Yeah, so I only came across this technique, uh, well, seven weeks. So it was literally my, my first kill team that I did was the uh, Orc Commandos. Uh, go check that video out. Um, they were done with this technique. They were, that's the first time I used this kind of style um, and was blown away by, say, not only how fast I did it, but the end result. Honestly, when I, when I look at some of the figures that I painted, I can hardly believe that it was me that painted them just because of knowing how my figures used to look. <laughs> um, yeah, these just look so much better. It, it's untrue. It's like, honestly, like it was someone else who painted them. That's sort of the difference in how they, they look. So yeah, let alone the speed. So even if it took me, so if it took the same sort of, so even if one of these figures took me three, four hours with whatever technique to make them look this good, I would still enjoy painting because the end result is, is worth it. Um, but say the fact these are just so much quicker is just makes it even more fun and more reason why I, I am sort of painting and getting through so many things just because it's it is it's just so quick and easy to paint. I say even uh, even doing a live stream where normally it, I, do, I do a lot less in a live stream than I would if I wasn't live streaming. Um, as in, if I wasn't live streaming, I'd get all these painted in a good couple of hours. Obviously live streaming, it'll be sort of at least twice that sort of time. But obviously I'm not going to live stream for four hours. Um, generally, my longest sort of live streams, about three hours, because after three hours, I start to get a bit hungry. Um, and sometimes I, I waffle too much then. Lack of uh, lack of food inside me makes me uh, makes my brain go a bit mushy, 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 a bit squishy. All right, well, I think I've possibly covered everything. Again, I normally find that when I go through all these, I'll go with them with a different colour, and I'll be like, oh, I've missed a spot. Um, I generally miss a spot here and there. Uh, Andre, do I still have the wizard I had with the tower? Yes, that is one of the few things I've still got. I do still have my... Oh, yeah. I should dig out the wizard just to see the comparison of him um, and these dudes. Yeah. Might do that. Or Yeah, because I might do that and then repaint the wizard. Do a before and after on the wizard. So that's why I really, I wish I could find my uh, my original lonely orc dude, because I would love to repaint him. Because I don't think he looked all that good. But yeah, I might dig that wizard out. Yeah, cheers for saying that, because the wizard was painted fully. I don't, I don't think I stuck him on the uh, on the tower. Or even if I did, I just pull him off. Sounds a bit rude, but there you go. 
Yeah. Yeah, that would make for a fun video. The, uh, the before um, image of me sort of saying, it took me four hours to paint him like this. And then it took 20 minutes to paint like this. <laughs> Which one do you prefer the look of? Uh, in fact, yeah, cheers, Andre. I am, that is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna repaint my, um, I think I called him Harry, didn't I? <laughs> Don't know why, but Harry the Wizard. Um, just seemed like a good name for an orc. All right, Harry. Yeah, I am going to go and get him. I am going to do some filming showing how he looks. And then I'm going to do some filming of him in a little bath. A little bath of IPA. Um, and then, yeah, slap chop him into next week. Because that will be a good comparison. is from what I can think or see the green the green <laughs> you're a wizard Harry he is indeed in fact I'm that eager I'm gonna go and I think I know where he is so bear with me um, I should be back in a minute if I'm not back in five minutes, call out the um, the rescue team because I got lost. But yeah, I'm gonna go and try and find Ari. Back in a minute. Sorry about that, I'm back. Oh, well, I couldn't find him because he wasn't where I last left him. But what it is, I've got some big cupboards. <laughs> and yesterday, my uh, my daughter turned, so basically I got new, I'm in a new flat. Well, it's not a new flat, but it's a new flat to me. Um, it's on a, I'm up on the roof, so the walls are all sloped and slanted. 
So there's one sort of walkway you go down, it's like a corridor. There's loads of cupboards. Um, so there's about five cupboards, and in one of those cupboards I put all my stuff. Well, uh, a lot of the cupboards I put all my stuff. And I'm waffling now. Long story short, my daughter went through one of the cupboards and turned it into a little den, like a little cubby hole den. Um, so she's moved loads of stuff out of there into the other cupboards. So I'm hoping it was in one of the cupboards she's moved the stuff out of. Um, but I don't know where it's gone, so I couldn't see it. So I'm going to have a look and find where it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, the cupboard that I thought it was going to be in, I forgot that last night my daughter turned it into a little den um, with like fairy lights, blankets, table, laptop, other sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and search for him again later because I, I want to see, yeah, I want to see how he looks compared to how these look. Um, I'm sure he's going to look very, very basic. Um, he's gone. Let's talk behind his back. Yeah, I'm sure you talk behind my back anyway. Right. Let's give that a bit of a clean with with this. It's really weird. I don't mind licking or sucking on a, um, a paintbrush when it's got wet paint on it. But when the paint goes dry, it's not as nice. <laughs> not you should probably really lick paintbrushes anyway, but I'm sure everyone does. Right, so it's really weird because I, whenever I paint these, I seem to have like a, a, a standard way that I paint them. I don't know why. I like to paint the green bit first, just because I think I like to see them being green. And then I kind of almost work from the bottom up by doing the shoes, the pants, top, um, and then obviously the armory stuff at the uh, the very end. So we're gonna start with black shoes. I've got a little fly joining me. Oh, bang me, <laughs> I banged my head several times. So like these cupboards are like on slopes. And yeah, I kind of forgot whether, yeah, they used to bang me out several, several times. May have not some sense in me. Harry's got his invisibility cloak on. He must have because, yeah, he wasn't where I thought he would be. I say I, I kind of forgot that my daughter, um, well, she's made her, her own Harry Potter cubby hole den thing. Right, so I'll have a bit of black in there. I'm going to move the camera just to vary, obviously, the shot. So bear with while I move you about but we're going to go high again this is where i am going to hold things so we'll have some of that and then where's my mouse bit of focus is always good bosh too much there we go and let's try and get the other dudes in shot right, let's zoom right out because then what I'm going to do is I am going to pretend just to last bit of paint with him and then go, yeah, there's all the greens done. Now we'll do a bit of black. Okay, this is just me talking to myself. Normally I talk to myself in my head when I'm filming, but as you're here, I'm going to talk out outside the box a little bit. about doing this sort of batch painting um, it just makes sure that all the figures are painted in the same sort of color technique look style all the rest of it so they do look part of a uh, part of a group then
Cool. And I think we'll just keep the camera there for a bit because you can see everything. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit. Cool. Slope cupboards are the worst. <laughs> Well, it is because you, you, you go in and then you forget just where the top is. Um, yeah, I kind of boshed it. Um, oh, yeah, I think with these as well, I did a little bit different on the gun. I've kind of like given it the black first and then any areas I've gone over had a little bit of silver. So, so I might still add, add some more red to the guns, actually. But I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I paint the main bits of the gun black and then I've got the option of doing well, whatever I want to do afterwards. Yeah, I hope I can find my, uh, my orc called Ari. So I would like to see just how I painted things before. So that, that's how few um, miniatures I painted in the past. That to do a comparison of how I used to paint and how I painted now, there really are only a few miniatures that I ever sort of finished. Um, the Lonely Orc was obviously one. Um, Harry the Orc was the other. Um, and it was Crazy Dave. But I'm not sure if I've still got him. I need to have a little look. Uh, big hello from Norway, says Odd Steiner. Big hello from UK, which is and it's quite nice outside actually. Yeah, this morning, um, well, pretty much rained most of the morning, but now what's the time now? Half twelve, and it's um, yeah, blue skies. Obviously, it'd be cold out there, but still, blue skies. It's nice. So anyone who's just joined, um, I'm basically making a chess set, uh, a Warhammer chess set, and it's going to be Orcs against Space Marines. And these guys I'm currently painting are just the um, your normal sort of like um, Orc boys, and these are going to be the pawns. So the cannon fodder at the front, the ones you're just going to chuck in to lose. gun black so I'm gonna add some a bit of color to the guns because I painted one fully just as like a, a tester uh, but I think I, need, I want to add some some red bits to the guns Don't forget guys, if you can uh, hit the thumbs up button on this video, that would be much appreciated. And say anyone who's just joined, um, I did put another video out this morning. Um, if you haven't seen that, go and check that one out. That was of my uh, my Orc riding a T-Rex through a portal. Um, yeah, go and watch that, thumbs up, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, much appreciated.
Yeah, so this is a dude that I, I painted first. Um, again, whenever I batch paint, I like to paint one fully, just so I'm happy with the colours and how it all looks and the rest of it. Because um, obviously if I didn't like anything or how anything looked, then the chances are I'd probably strip the mini back and, and restart it. Because um, obviously it's easier restripping one miniature than doing a batch for, straight off, getting near the end and thinking, oh, I don't like the look of one of the colours. Um, so yeah, batch paint, uh, painting one fully is uh, obviously the way to go, um, just to make sure you get it right. Uh, Patrick painted your white scar marines with airbrush, otherwise you wouldn't have done so well. Yeah, I've, I've only ever tried airbrush, well, not even, I did have, buy a cheap airbrush from Amazon, had a little go with it. Um, I just find obviously having to keep cleaning it out when you wanted to change paints, too time consuming. <laughs> and as much as sometimes I can do something really mundane and boring and spend hours and hours doing it, um, the cleaning of the airbrush kind of bored me. I just didn't didn't enjoy it one bit. So yeah, I, I barely used the airbrush when I did have it. Um, and yeah, obviously doing say doing this technique, there's no need for me to get an airbrush because well, I just love how this this looks. Uh, Andre had to reboot your potato. Did you miss Harry? Yes, I missed Harry. Um, where I thought Harry the orc was going to be. Um, my daughter had turned a cupboard into a little den and she'd moved stuff and I'm hoping Harry was one of the things she moved but I'm not too sure where so I'll have to have a proper look later so anyone just getting in on the conversation um, again in the past I never really painted many miniatures so I've only got a couple that are actually fully painted and one of them was an orc um, which for some reason I decided to call Harry um, basically it's for a diorama I'd made a, um, a wizard tower so I did a, an orc wizard basically um, but yeah I want to go and find him just to compare him to these because like, when I used to paint I would spend hours painting and I used to hate how they looked uh, which is why I kind of never really painted many figures so I want to see how he looks for a miniature that took say three four hours compared to a miniature that I can paint now in about 20 minutes, half an hour. Because obviously the difference is gonna be insane. As in these ones I now paint are a whole lot better. But it'd make for a fun video to do a before and an after. So how he looks after being, well, after having four hours spent on him to how he looks after having half an hour. I knew I was going to miss something. I've missed some of his fingers painting green. So we'll have to come back to that.
half 12. Yeah, so I might go to about one, maybe half one. Um, no, half. Yeah, it's about half one ish. Half one, maybe two. So the chances are I won't get these obviously done on the live stream. Well, not completed anyway. But these probably will be completed maybe the end of the day, if not tomorrow, depending on other things I've got to do. So yeah, so with the chest set that I'm building, um, it's obviously going to be over several videos. As in, like, whenever I paint the figures, they'll be their own sort of separate video. Um, the board itself will be, like, one video for the whole board. Um, and then depending on how it all looks, I may do one video and sort of, like, group and join them all together. But that's, that's a way off yet. We'll see that. So, yeah, so I'm 3D printing loads of parts to uh, make the board up. Um... So I want to make the board quite chunky because I want it to have like drawers in it. So you can open the drawers and the, the teams will be in the drawers. Um, as well as obviously I'm going to have lights on the chest set as well. So the underneath or the actual the playing board where the chest set figures are going to be is going to light up. Which is why these are probably going to be on clear bases. Just because I think that would be quite cool. Uh, Andre finds spending a longer time on a paint quite enjoyable. Uh, as long as the results are worth it. Yeah, well that's kind of, again, I have sort of said in the past with these ones, doing the speed paint or the um, slap chop method gets these tabletop ready. But then these I could revisit in say six months time if I've learned any new techniques like edge highlighting or OSL or um, a non-metallic look, I could then sort of go over certain bits and redo them. Um, so that's why I'm re I really like the, again, I'm getting excited about painting. Um, I like the idea of being able to revisit these figures and doing a little bit more to them. Uh, whereas, yeah, I know what you mean about spending more time because you, you're enjoying it and the process is fun and everything everything you're doing is making it better. Whereas, obviously, when I used to paint figures, <laughs> everything I did just made it get worse. <laughs> Which was even then so much more annoying because it was like, well, why is it not working for me? Why can't I make this better? Why is it getting worse? And it was, it was almost like the more time I spent on it, the worse, the worse it got. So I think primed them, they were at their best when they were primed. The moment I dipped my, my uh, brush in, in paint and put the first bit of paint on it, that's when it all went downhill. Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that, that is why I am excited now when I paint things, just because they are, they are getting better. Uh, as opposed to just making a complete hash of it. Uh, and ruining it. But yeah, so I think these, these could benefit from a bit of the old um, edge lighting. Uh, but at the moment, I am not very good at doing that kind of thing, which is why I won't do it, because I say, I will just ruin something that has um, has looked good, or does look good. I would do the uh, the brown uh, the leggings next. Yeah, so when I paint these kind of things, I always go for the skin colour first, just because I get excited that they're well, green skins. Um, and then yeah, kind of almost start from the bottom and go upwards. And anything that's sort of metal or anything that's not a speed paint, contrast paint, dip and ink or whatever, um, gets done last. And then obviously a good old bit of uh, bit of a wash over those bits that aren't speed paints. Thank you. 
Cool. Where's my brown? Oh, there we go. <coughs> and again, let's have a little variation on the old camera angle. Hold him. Yeah, that feels about right. right let's so we can see the orcs in the background. Let's do one that's more dried. Yeah, say so the green's dried, and I um, yeah, I like it. So we'll go over, obviously he's got those scars and scratches. So I will go over with like a, well, probably a pink color or a red color or something. Um, maybe even a dark green, not sure. But yeah, so these uh, these figures are awesome. So this, these were sent to me by Firestorm Gaming. Um, I think it was the Orc Patrol box they sent me. So lots of figures in there, which is pretty awesome. Um, I, I am, or I have just applied to be an affiliate uh, with Firestorm Gaming. So when that comes through, I'll put that link obviously in my description. So if you do buy anything from them, if you could click on the link, um, again, it doesn't cost you anything, but obviously I get a few pennies every time people use it to, um, to buy stuff. Yeah, so usual film a little bit. So quick. Filming. Cool.
Oh yeah, so guys, sometime this week, I'm um, thinking about doing a live stream. Um, but I wanna see how quick I can paint something. So I might do a live stream where, obviously I won't do any chatting. So what I'd probably do is I would maybe sort of start off by doing a little bit of chat to say that obviously I'm not gonna do any chat. Um, but to make it easier for me, I would probably turn off or disable or whatever, not disable the chat, so I turn it off so I can't see it. Um, so you guys can carry on chatting. Uh, it would just mean I wouldn't respond to anything because I wouldn't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, so there's a figure I'm actually 3D printing the figure out. Um, have you guys seen the, because obviously it's 35 years of Warhammer. So there's that figure where is it the Space Marine that's got um, the orc line on the floor and he stabbed him or something? Well, I'm printing out a figure which is the opposite. It's an orc stabbing, I think he's stabbing a, um, a dwarf or something. I don't, I don't think it's, it's a Space Marine. And obviously the orc I'm printing out is an orc with a C, not a K. So it's not a Warhammer knockoff in any kind of way. Um, but I might paint that in a live stream. Um, Again, because I want to see how quick I can paint a, a figure. But obviously it's a figure, like a, almost like a diorama figure. So it's like two figures. Um, I think painted separately and then just glued together. So yeah, so I might do that. I think because I'm printing it now, I may well do that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, just, just so you guys know, if you do obviously join a live stream tomorrow, um, I'm probably going to put something on the screen as well to sort of say that I'm not looking at chat, I'm painting to see how quick I can paint. Um, but yeah, so that'll probably be tomorrow, I think. Again, because I'm loving painting figures, I am painting figures every day. So, so where possible, I'm going to do, um, well, do a live stream. And there we go, just like that, the pants are done. So the one we'll do next is, is this one. It's an orange, um, but it almost comes out, <clears throat> it's not sort of like orange orange. Um, it's what I used to do his jacket. So it's almost like an orange with a hint of brown in it. Um, and this was about two, maybe three coats. So it really comes out very translucent, very sort of like light brownish. Uh, but then the more you build it up, the more browner it gets. But it seems to be a bit the, one of the most translucent ones I have, almost to the fact of being like watered down. But I love the effect it gives. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use for his jacket. I say it's an orange, but it is definitely an orange with a hint of, well, a hint of yellow and a hint of brown mixed in, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, Andre will be nice and chat while I'm not looking. Well, I say, yeah, because if I have chat on my screen, I can't help but respond if someone's obviously asking me a question. So I would need to, well, not have chat up on my screen. <clears throat> but what I might do is try and find some sort of timer that I can have on the screen. So I would like to see just 
if I can paint up a figure in, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. All right, so the figure that I'm printing now, it's, it's two figures. So, oh, if I can do it in an hour, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> What's that? Crazy. He isn't watching quick. Say that our orcs will be better than his orcs. I'm watching. I'm watching the chat now, mate. I'm watching now. I'm saying tomorrow. I'm, I'm, if I'm doing this speed painting thing, I won't watch then. <clears throat> All right, let's just vary the angle a little bit, just because. Well, why not? hold it and then I can focus and all the rest oh, wrong way. And again it's nice to have all the Yorkies in the background I'm gonna go there center one yeah about what time did I start about half 11 ish wasn't it yeah if I go to about half one just because I've got a few things to do and I've got a school run, so. He's what? <laughs> You're so funny, Steve. It's untrue. I am shaking my balls. Can you hear that? That's my ball shaking. Um, with a chessboard, be custom as well. Well, yeah, well. Custom as in that I'm making it. Obviously, it's going to look like a chessboard, as in it's going to have eight squares by eight squares. Um, did you not see the bit that I've got done so far? Oh, pardon me. Right, let's just change this up and go down. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've started printing out the board. Um, basically, I've printed out loads of these. Let's focus again. So, I've printed out loads of these. Um, so obviously my printer's only so big, um, but then the plan is to obviously stick them all together like I've done here. So this is a row of four. Obviously I need to do four more or eight more, like four more rows of four. So it's going to be like a eight by eight sort of thing. So obviously each one of these is going to be the um, size of the, the piece where the chest piece goes. So what I'm doing is obviously these dudes, the pawns, are going to be on 32 mil bases. And the same with the Space Marines, they'll be on 32 mil bases. The ones at the back are going to be on 48 mil bases, which just fits in the square, as in the edge of the square. Um, I am going to magnetize it. So I'm going to put magnets in, obviously, these little holes that you see in the center. The clear discs that these are going to go on, I'm going to drill in the center of those and put a magnet. Because again, I want these to, basically, if you knocked it, <laughs> things aren't just going to fall all over the place. So that's why I'm going to magnetize the board, magnetize these little fellas. Uh, the reason I've gone for the grating, so these are printed from somewhere. I've forgotten the name of it, but when I do the video, I will leave links in the description to where I've got these from because the rest of the board is going to be made to look like a sci-fi. It's almost going to be like a diorama. It's going to be sci-fi-ish. Uh, but the reason for having the things that they're on empty is the board is going to be lit up from underneath so there's going to be lights inside this um, but then the lights so you get the remote control and you can change the colour so the, basically the board's going to be illuminated from underneath which will be quite cool um, the board's going to be about hmm, about three maybe four inches deep because the idea is it's going to have draw a drawer either side so you can pull the drawers out and it contains all the figures and I'm, so I'm going to make make it so the figures sort of slot into things again there'll be magnets in there um, so when you move the board it won't rattle because these will all be magnetized and they'll stick to their positions inside the chess set so basically it's like those chess sets you get you open up and it's got all the figures in it it's gonna be similar to that but it's gonna have drawers either side and obviously one side's gonna have oops the other side space marines um, so yeah so 
it's all in my head how this is going to look. Um, and again, when it comes to building things, making dioramas, I'm quite lucky that I can think how I want it to look at the end, but I can also break it down into stages. Uh, so the first stage for me is making the actual board that these guys are going to go on and then building almost everything around it. Um, yeah, again, it's, it's all in my head. Um, I will be posting pictures as I start making things and painting things and doing bits. There'll be pictures galore over on Patreon. Hint, hint. If you want to become a patron, help support the channel. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, two pound a month. Um, I say I will, I will start doing uh, once a month. I'm going to do a video purely for patrons. Uh, just obviously as a thank you to them for, well, for sponsoring the channel or yeah, helping to um, helping me to keep carrying on buying bits and pieces, basically. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be the start of what the chess board is going to look like. I say it's yeah. I'm looking forward to making that. And again, I'm looking forward to it's like again, it's something I wanted to make for ages. The only reason I never made the chess set before was the thought of painting 32 miniatures kind of put me off. Especially if it took me like four hours to paint one. That's a lot of hours to paint 32 miniatures to a standard I'm going to hate. <laughs> Whereas now I'm going to paint 32 miniatures in I don't know. Well, I probably could paint them all in one day if I sat at my desk, they were all here, all assembled, and just boshed them out. Uh, but so that's why these are going to be the pawns. And yeah, I'm excited about making the board, and I'm excited about obviously painting all the figures, which is a nice change for me. Right, anyway, enough waffling. So I'm only here for another half an hour ish. Um, but I'm going to hold him there. So let's just twizzle you round. Oh, oh wait. Um, oh, still not quite in focus, is he? There we go. Right, so I'm going to hold him there, paint him, blah blah blah. They can all go there. Right, and we'll video a little bit. <coughs> right, so yeah, shake me balls a little bit more. Uh, Andre, you hadn't seen those. Oh, no worries, buddy. Yes, it's kind of weird because obviously when you pour it out, the orange is a real vibrant, nice orange. But when you paint it on, it is say, very translucent. But I, say, I love, I just love the look. I just love that sort of, I don't know. It's almost like some sort of um, like hide skin or some sort. Um, but whatever, I just I just love it. It's like one paint, but in it there's like an orange, there's a bit of a yellow, there's a bit of brown. Um, yeah, quite a lot of variations in tone from one paint, which is pretty cool. Oh, pardon me. Right, so let's film a tad just to sort of show you what I'm doing. So as you can see, it really does go on very faint, even though I'm putting it on <laughs> rather thick. So I'll probably put this paint on a lot thicker than any others. Um, just as I didn't, you'd hardly sort of see much of a difference in the colour. But I say, I do love it. So, so a lot of the colours I put on, it is a case of like one one coat will do you. 
uh, but the orange is definitely not one of those it's definitely one that I do put several coats on as in I've let it dry so I'm probably gonna go through all seven of these uh, once it's dry go back to the first one and then apply well some more So I say I will be saying something similar to that in the video when I come to edit it about the fact that it goes on so translucent that um, yeah it gets a couple of coats. Um, am I using all the brands or just the different inks? I'm using a bit of all sorts. I say I've dipping ink, um, good old speed paint, and Citadel Contrast. There are a couple of others that I've, I've messaged. Uh, one of them is the Vallejo. Obviously, they're doing their, their I think it's it Express, Express paints. Oh, I forgot, but yeah, so Vallejo are doing one. There's another one, is it called Project 57? I don't know, there's a, definitely a few other companies that are doing these kind of paints. Um, and I've done my usual cheekily ask, but politely cheekily ask, if they'd like to send me some of their inks or paints or whatever, um, I'll happily try them out on my channel. Um, but I've not heard back from them yet. Um, but no, that's why at the moment I'm kind of using a bit of all sorts. Um, I mean, if I had one company that had all the paints that I, I needed, then I would probably just use one brand. Um, but at the moment, there's not really a lot of difference in the different types. I mean, I'm, I keep saying it, I'm going to print like several figures out and paint them uh, using a variety of the different sort of paints that I've got um, and just sort of see how I feel with them all. Because in general, they are all pretty similar. Um, but obviously, that being said, say this orange from Dippin' Inks is very different to all the others in the fact that it really does seem to come out so much more translucent um, but in a way I kind of prefer that because at least it's more translucent then you can build up the colour just by adding more obviously more layers uh, which is pretty cool yes yeah, so guys I hope you've um, You've checked out the video that I put on earlier today. Um, if you haven't, I would love it if you could go and uh, take a little look. Um, so I'm going to be here for a bit longer. So yeah, if you haven't watched my other video, 
which was my uh, my orc riding a T-Rex through a portal. Um, you can go and give that a little watch and thumbs up and comment. That would be uh, be awesome, guys. Yeah, the other thing I noticed with this um, this orange, you can get so much more on your um, your brush. It just really seems to sort of just hold itself. It's almost like you pick up a little globule of paint. Um, so yeah, you just want to get more on your paint with this one. Don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. It's just a general observation I've got. got some sort of um, kind of apron thing going on there and then this guy had an apron and I painted a different color so we'll uh, we'll leave his apron thingy yes yeah, so is the first one that I did obviously it started drying um, oh, it's not too bad but say it's meant to be like an orange and it's very much a very thinned out looking orange um well saying it hasn't fully dried yet but yeah but i do like it though so do all of them and say this color will get another coat uh he's got no orange he's just got the little apron jobby on so i do love the look of these uh, these orcs i love the um the poses of these and say the fact they're all different because originally when I, well not originally, but an idea I had thought about when I was going to make a chess set was making the orcs all look, um, the pawn ones, all look exactly the same. Um, but then the more I thought about that, the more I thought it's going to look a bit naff. If <laughs> you've got like eight orcs all in the same pose, same weapon, same, well, same figure. Um, so I'm kind of glad that these ones are, all eight are individual, different, different poses, different looks different sort of weapon outfits um, yeah just gonna look it's gonna look nice when you got all um, all 32 figures on a board is gonna look pretty cool to so, say it'd be the orcs will be done probably first then the uh, the board will be made, um, and yeah, Space Marines are going to be the last thing that's going to be sort of completed. Um, obviously, I like the look of this the um, Space Marines, but I do prefer Orcs, and well, I'm excited to make the actual board. So especially, it's going to be a lit up board, and it's going to have um, drawers underneath. Oh, he's got nothing on. Uh, yeah, drawers, so you can um, <clears throat> put the figures in the drawer, basically, put them out of the way. So say, they're all going to get magnetised as well, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it kind of really needs to be um, dried for the next coat. 
So I might do a bit of silver, I think. Let's just give them a little second. You haven't heard the uh, the word yet today. Mm. Although I'm sure in the video that I put out today, I didn't say it as much, but in my head, <laughs> so this is the thing, when I say this next word, when you watch my video, you're gonna go, oh yeah, he does say it a lot. But I'm sure if I don't say the word, then you won't, you probably won't recognize. But in my last video that I put on today, I do say the word basically a lot, which is funny because that's what I said in a previous live stream. That's the word that I used to say a lot of was basically, but then recently it's been obviously. But yeah, if you watch the, uh, the video that I put out this morning, I'm sure I say basically quite a lot. Uh, what is the color I am going to use on their shirts? Uh, well, their shirts that I've just painted, it's supposedly, Radiant orange. Um, it seems anything bar radiant and possibly anything but orange. But I love it. I love how it looks because it does seem to give off more of a yellow colour initially. Um, obviously, the more um, layers I put on, the more orange it will go. But it also has a bit more. So this this is so this is a bit of a comparison in the look. So this guy here has got at least two if not almost three coats of the orange on it. And obviously this guy's just got the one. So obviously it's gonna dry, so when it dries it goes a little bit lighter. Um, so, say, so initially when you first put it on, it's almost like a, like a yellow, oh, I don't know, it's not quite yellow, but like a yellow brown, I don't know. Um, just look at my paints trying to see if I've got a color that's similar. Not really. But yeah, it starts off as a very, say it's very translucent, um, a very light color. Much lighter than any of the other colours that I've ever used, they normally go on as they're, the colour they're meant to be. Whereas this one, you, need, you do seem to have to build up in a few layers. Um, but say, I, I think I love it more because say this character, you look at like the edges look almost yellow. There's definitely some orange in there, but there's also the darker areas have gone brown. I, I just love the variation in the look from, from one paint. So yeah, so definitely like, before and after, um, and that's why it does need at least two coats, if not three. Um, yeah. It's only a laugh, obviously. Well, basically, you, what you're saying is right. Um, Box Fox says basically too much, and it ruined it for a solid week when you realised. Well, so the problem is when I do the videos, I again I say this all the time, but I'm watching what you guys are watching. And in my head, I'm just constantly thinking, you can see what I'm doing. Um, which is why I, every now and then I, I have tried doing videos with no, no talking. Um, but then I get comments, why are you not talking? <laughs> and I, I, I even did a poll, uh, ages ago I did a poll saying, do you want me to talk on the videos or just have background music? Because um, I even put on there that I am literally saying what you can see and quite often I'm just waffling. Uh, but then you guys have said, yeah, no waffle. So <laughs> you've got me waffling. Uh, Andre, you're looking forward to seeing the Queen finished. Uh, so obviously the Queen does look funny at the moment because as I say, I cut up a different model rather than print out some more um, boobies. I, um, I cut out or cut off some boobies from a different miniature. Which is why I thought it was a little bit weirder because obviously uh, they're painted. But I've used a bit of green stuff on there just to try and make them look a little bit more saggy. Because obviously we, didn't, we don't want this orc to have perky ones. Because <laughs> that'll just look really weird. Um, and yes, I am fully aware that there are no female orcs. Uh, well, not the orcs spelt with a K anyway. Um, I did look it up. The, they, they reproduced by... This is where my memory is so shocking. It was only last night I looked up about orcs. Was it the night before? Oh, I don't know. Um, and yeah, they, they reproduce by spawning something, or when they die, it, it releases something. Oh, I don't know, it was something or other. Um, which is why there aren't female orcs. 
but there is because I'm making a chess set and I wouldn't have a female or not necessarily a female but yeah female I wouldn't have a queen um, and yeah if I'm gonna have a queen they're having boobies so when I come to do the other team the space marines they're gonna have one with the boobies um, again I don't guys you, you'd know are there any space female space marines <laughs> because if there isn't this <laughs> there soon will be uh, as a scouser I say right and you know what I mean all the time uh, we have our own sayings yeah uh, but yes yeah, so I'm looking forward to painting this one um, so this this will be probably a standalone single video of me painting this little uh, chap s um, I say the king will be a standalone painting one well I might paint the king and queen together actually because um, I think I think painting just the one figure on its own might be a little bit of a short video um, but I was saying that I can waffle a video out and make it last eight minutes. Um, oh, there you go, box box. When an orc dies, it breaks down and spores are planted where it died. And then the spores become more orcs. That's what I read. Um, but yeah, I still wouldn't have a female orc with a K. Uh, make mushrooms. And basically, mushrooms grow up. Obviously. Goes without saying, really, Steve, but thanks for saying it. Um, yeah right i don't think these are probably are these dried anymore no they're still quite wet well i say that to be honest i think when i did him i did go over it when they were still still quite wet right so he didn't have anything because he's he's shirtless there was another shirtless one wasn't there so there's my two shirtless dudes all right let's go and put some more of this kind of orangish color on these so many different time yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the orange on these dudes. And then I'm going to end the stream. So I've got a couple of things I need to do before school run. Um, Andre, there's a couple of female marines, but apparently they look awful. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, I'll, I'll kit bash them. I'll kit bash them and make them look voluptuous. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, Right, let's put a little bit more in because I think it starts to dry up quite quick. Well, again, I do like the Green Stuff World inks because this fella costs the same as this fella. And there's three times the amount in this one as this one. Um, although I, I haven't got a green yet. I have asked Green Stuff World to send me some more of their different inks because they've sent me a few greens but none that look like this. Um, but I think there's 24, dif dif uh, 24 different different inks at the moment. So if Green Stuff World would have a good green that I like, then yeah, I would probably be using Dibbon inks as my main sort of paint. Um, but yeah, the fact that I say the fact that this this costs the same as this, but three times the amount, is pretty good going. Um, as I say I yeah, I've I've enjoyed using the Green Stuff World Dibbon inks. Um, as in, I can't see a lot of difference in how it works, how it flows, end result, uh, as compared to contrast paints or even the speed paints. Um, although the speed paints so far, I have enjoyed how they cover. They're quite not they're not thick, but they seem to go on. They're, they're all the same, is what I'm trying to say in a very obscure way. Anyway, enough waffling. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Um, Yes. Oh, there you go. Box Fox. Kill one orc. 20 spring up in its place. Wow. That is a big number. Right. So let's carry on painting this dude. Um, I say I know that one that I just showed you, the finished one, it was definitely two coats, maybe three in some areas. Um, so I'm definitely going to give them all a second coat right now. And then I will be... Uh, be ending the stream for today but say I might do a stream tomorrow and if I do it may well be one where I'm not chatting at all I am purely painting just to see if I can paint this figure well see how quick I can paint it really not that I'm gonna like rush it because um, I want it to look good but I'm just gonna paint it well with, without the interruptions of me chatting waffling and all the rest of it that I do.
yes before i go guys don't forget if you can hit the thumbs up on this that'd be awesome um and if you haven't already seen it obviously i have put a video out today um showing how i've made painted all the rest of it the uh, the orc on the t-rex um coming through the portal which i'm pretty pleased with how it came out so if you go and watch that that would be awesome as well and obviously drop some comments and bits on that again thank you so much end of the public announcement So we are just distractions. Hey, I'm sure you watching me, I'm your distraction from doing, well, whatever it may be that you um, should be doing, was doing, or had planned to do. But yeah, you're right, you are, you are a distraction. But obviously a pleasant one to have you guys there. Last little one, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Right, there we go, that's not too bad. Um, do I think about switching up the background music? If you guys have any background music you want me to use, by all means send it to me, send me a link or whatever. Um, trying to find obviously royalty free music that's just sort of generic and just there is so difficult, it's untrue. Um, again, it's one of those, the other problem about having background music you're never going to get background music that everyone's going to go, yeah, that was pleasant, that was nice. There's always going to be some people who go, oh, I hate the background music. Um, which is why you'll find in my last couple of um, videos that I've, I've made, sorry to turn the music off. Yeah, the last couple of um, videos that I've made, I've put no background music. Um, just because sometimes I like to have background music, 
just because there's something happening when I'm not talking. Um, right, let's get the camera on, that's nice for you. Um, I think because recently, somehow, I seem to be able to waffle and talk a whole lot. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I've taken the background music off on my videos, just because, well, I'm doing enough talking and waffling that you don't need to have any more. Um, um, but yes, yeah, so I know there's background music obviously on this, the live streams, and the reason for that is obviously there are more times during a live stream where, oh, wrong way, where I am going to not be talking. So I just kind of wanted there to be something. Um, but yeah, so background music, trying to find something that's nice and generic and doesn't annoy people is very, very difficult. Peace, loving girl. Good afternoon. I'm just about to finish, but lovely to see you there. Um, yeah, lovely to see you. But I'm yeah, I'm literally just wrapping up and finishing. I'm guessing you are on a lunch break, which is awesome. Um, so yes, yeah, so I haven't done too bad painting these guys. Um, obviously, the next colour I would do would probably be a dark brown for any straps and um, any little pouches, um, and then possibly do some silver. And then any other, so there's a few other paints that I use um, that aren't uh, dipping inks or contrast paints. Um, like I quite like the uh, this, this bone white that I use. Um, but obviously then that will get a the old wash over the top. Um, but yeah, I got quite a bit done. Considering you say normally two hours, I could spend that easily on one miniature and have them halfway done and looking like a pile of poop. Um, so to get two hours and get these about 70% done um, like each one isn't too bad at all so yeah I'm gonna finish them off obviously later on so I've got a few things I want to do and then I've got a school run to do um, but yeah there's a fair chance I will be live streaming again tomorrow and I say if I do I might have a go at paint painting the thing that I'm 3d printing um, so that would be a case of me not doing any chatting just because I want to see well, basically, I want to paint the thing in under an hour. So it's, it's two figures. Um, it's kind of similar uh, to the Warhammer 35th anniversary figure, which is obviously the Space Marine on top of the Orc stabbing him. This one is an Orc on top of... I, I don't look, It's not a Space Marine. Because uh, it's not... Let me do a Warhammer. It's not Orcs. It's Orcs with a C. Um... But yes, I might do that tomorrow. Anyway, I'm waffling. Yeah, guys, thanks for being here. Don't forget, click the thumbs up button. It does help me out. I know I say it all the time, but it really does help. You clicking that thumbs up button does help out so much. Um, and yeah, go and check out the other video that I put on earlier um, of my orc on the T-Rex. Just because if you haven't seen it, well, you're slacking. You should have seen it. <laughs> um, and yeah. Guys, have a great week, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is where you are. And yeah, I might well see you tomorrow for another live stream. Okay, guys, take care. Bye for now.